people have questions. Excellent. No questions or comments, then uh, I will ask for the vote. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Raise your hand. Thank you very much. Um, any opposed and any abstentions? Okay, so uh, the next order of business is about uh, uh, opening a grant round. Um, uh, I finally got to talk to Charlie Sumner uh, yesterday, and he was very supportive. He understood exactly what the uh, issue was in terms of uh, we're gaining eight months in the process um, if, if we had to wait until next uh, spring's uh, town meeting. And he also uh, apologizes, but they cannot tell us exactly how much money we have available. Um, Mary did do a calculation, which we sent to everybody. Yes. Which, yes. Which is, you know, it's just a gross measurement, guys. Uh, so it says, you know, that we ha have received this money from both the real estate override and the state match. And this is through the 2022 estimate. Okay. So it would count all, theoretically, all the money that we either have received or intend to receive in the current uh, fiscal year, uh, less all the money since the beginning of the program that we have awarded in grants. Uh, and that leaves us with approximately 800,000, 880,000 as a balance. And we have been guesstimating that it's in the $600,000 range. We don't know, there may be other expenses here that uh, we didn't capture. And the other thing, is that over the years, some grants have not spent all their money. Uh, so we would have some balance that would be left over from various things. And I'm not sure if, what, if anything we have recovered from those grants, but there must be some amount of money. It's was, two years, isn't it, Gary, after two uh, I think it, is it two or project? three, Mary? Two it's or three, three usually. Mary. Three. But but um, but that money is accounted for by saying we we had uh, you know we had granted it. We had granted it, so right so there might be a little little bit of plus on right. that for unspent money. But I, Mary, that might be. We, just, we just don't know where it is. Exactly. No, once I, I put it down as spent committed, that that covers it. So um, now it is it, it is ours to spend. Where right. is it? <laughs> so. In essence, that is encumbered money that may yes. potentially be unspent. So after after I think we get our um, accounting report from the town, we may go back and actually look at what was granted, what was spent, and is there some amount of money that we can either recapture or we actually have. Yeah. Um, so yes. we'll, wait, we'll wait to see on that. Um, so understanding that we may have an uncertain amount of money, but we think that it's several hundred thousand at a minimum. The question is, should we go forward with a, uh, a summer grant proposal period? Uh, and I throw it out to you for comment. Well, I think the consensus from last time was yes, go ahead. Yeah, I think so too, Mike. Uh, anybody have any other opinion or input on that? Our hope would be to do it in the next um, uh, 50 days or so, uh, the rest of July and all of, no wait, would they be due August 1st? Or could we push it to August 15th or? I think we need to push it to the 15th because right. um, it's too tight. I think so too. Now we don't know when the date of any fall town meeting will be. Um, so, um, we should push it to as late as we can, assuming, let's say for the sake of argument, that town meeting will be within 45 days of August 15th. Does that give us enough time to review and go through the various processes of approval? Well, it's not ideal. It's not what we would do if it was a perfect world, but I think right. that we should push it because of the, you know, late, town meeting and, and the mm -hmm. circumstances. Now we could, if we find that town, Mary, 
if we find that town meeting, let's say, pushes off until later in October, mm -hmm. could, we could extend the deadline, is it, do you think? Probably. Uh, August 15th is a Sunday. Right. Oh, someone sent me an email on that. Right. So it well, that was August 1st was a Sunday. So oh. I think it would be August 16th. 16th. Yeah. Okay. So Monday, August 16th. So that would be the proposal would be um, maybe someone could make this motion, but it would be to open a grant round with the understanding that uh, we will consider making awards subject to, to funds being available. The worst, and the worst case scenario is the people who would submit it uh, would still be considered in the spring uh, or our fall um, deadline. Um, so they wouldn't necessarily lose out anything, even if we didn't have money to award. So move. Okay. And Second, that Michael. Deadline, I'm sorry, Michael, go ahead. Second. Very good. And I should have mentioned the deadline would be uh, August 16th, Monday, August 16th for application. And, you know, we will try to do things that are time sensitive, but we don't necessarily have to, to say that, although perhaps we should. Yes, Elaine. Um, I'm, I'm a little, I've, I'm feeling like it's tight. Um, yes, if, we it is. Do, if we do a grant round and then we don't get it into town in time for the warrant, that's kind of a waste of an effort. Because um, whatever we do, we'll have to go into the warrant if we have requests that we've approved. And the warrant has to be what signed how many days right. before. I don't know how to say no the end. A tricky situation. I almost feel like pushing people to get their grants in as soon as possible is safer than too much time. I don't know about the history on this, but would it be too much to say the end of July for applications? Hmm. Yeah. That's, That's very soon, I realize. So let's go, let me go back for a second. So once we decide on what date we think will work, it's really up to each of us to go back to our committees and, and our uh, friends and neighbors in the community and say there is a grant round opening and so whether it's recreation or historic or open space or housing to really come up with um, applications in a, in a timely fashion. Um, there are probably not that many unsolicited applications and probably the shorter the time the less likely that would happen. But um, Mary the alternative that Lynn would suggest is maybe have the difference and make it the first Monday in um, in August or well, that, that's what you did kind of plan last time, August first, but it's really Monday, August second. What about the following one, the ninth? That sounds better to me, I think. <laughs> August 9th. I, I, I lost uh, connectivity there for a second. I didn't hear your comment, Elaine. Um, Jan suggested August 9th, the second. Ninth, yeah, and does, does that, what do people think about that? I think it's safer bet. Okay. Uh, yeah, you, you have the applicants come before I us. I wonder about having um, additional questions uh, or information that we decide we want and then we would have we might have to squeeze in another meeting quickly uh, once we get that new information from applicants sure maybe maybe by august 9th we'll have a better feel for what um, what money is available as well yeah and we could get we could get something into the independent i i hear that's now one of our papers of record so we could a little right in the independent. Mary, once we approve th this grant round and the date, right. how will we reach out to people other than through our committees? Well, I usually uh, put a public service notice in the newspapers and sometimes I even put it on OMR. Okay. So in the independent, um, in OMR, is there anywhere else we need to put this up or would it be 
helpful to put up a flyer around town or no? No? I, I don't think, I mean, I think we want to be fair and equitable, but right. I don't think we want to encourage, encourage too many you, because you, you, of the interest of time. If yeah, people interest of time think, and, right, and the lack of funds potentially. Well, I, I think we have the money, but I do think that, um, you know, we're going to be pushed so if there are a few, that would be fine. And then okay. the rest can wait until the next round. Sure. So when you go back to your committees, um, think about if there are perhaps not as large a project as we maybe have considered in the past and also if it's time sensitive, but you know, if you have something that is impactful and time sensitive, we're happy to entertain it. Okay, so Mary, we have we have a motion, <laughs> having discussed it, uh, do, do we have a clear motion to open a grant round um, pending funding? I think um, we just want to change the date to August, yeah, to August, August 9th. 9th. Right. So the motion mm -hmm. is to open a CPA grant round um, with applications due August 9th, August um, 9th. subject to availability mm -hmm. of funds. Yep. That's exactly what I have. Okay. And if Jan agrees to that and Mike. Yes, yes, uh, yes I agree. Yeah. Agree. Okay, any more discussion? Well, I think this was before Fred came on, but now the open space debt is paid. So sure. open space uh, can make applications freely. Thank you guys. Thank you, Mike, for reminding us. Uh, that would be fiscal year 23 that they get their big money, but they do have a reserve of a smallish amount uh, of... Is it 15,000, something like that? Uh, they have 39,000 right now, but but with um, with next year's, they'd have... No, they have 43 right now. With next year's, they'd have another 50,000. But it's now. Times are different when forty thousand is a small amount, but uh, well, it depends on what they I have. Suspect, in right. I suspect we could think about things to spend for forty thousand. Um, anyway, uh, it has been moved and seconded. I don't think we've actually voted on it yet, uh, so I'm going to call for the vote unless there are any other comments. Seeing none, all those in favor of opening a grant round with a due date of uh, August 9th, uh, signify by saying aye and raising your hand. Aye. 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 Any opposed? And any abstentions? And again, all of this has to be, uh, Mary, in our reach, outreach and in your conversations. It's subject to availability of funds and it's uh, pending mm -hmm. the town order. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So if we have uh, thank you very much, everybody. Um, if we have uh, an August 9th deadline, um, we should schedule uh, a meeting uh, that next week for folks to come in and do presentations if, in fact, we have applications. And if we don't, obviously, we don't need to, to meet. But can you That would be the 18th of August, I think, right? Um, now, I, I have something on the morning of the 18th that I, that I can't change. Um, so we could either do it a little later in the day or we could do it another day. Well, that's our meeting day. So we probably have the best chance of getting people that day. Right, I don't want to, if we, I, is it better if we do it in the morning on another day or later in the day on the 18th? I don't want to cut into people's playtime. What time would you be available? Gary? I'm saying, uh, uh, Michael, I'll be back by noon. So one o'clock? One o'clock would probably be fine if that's acceptable to folks. That's fine. The con, con doesn't start till four, so that's fine. Yeah. Um, so we don't, obviously, we don't know whether we will have anybody or not. Right. But, All right. Um, so when I get the applications, you want me to invite them immediately to a meeting on the 18th? I think if we put in the um, in our advertising and our outreach, Mary, that if the um, if we receive 
applications that we will hold hearings, not hearings, but um, grant reviews on the 18th at one o'clock. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So everybody, that's okay on your schedules? Yes. Yeah. So uh, one o'clock on the 18th. All right, everybody. So, so do we meet in person for that, Gary? Would we, um, wouldn't, you know, wouldn't we want to meet in person if we could? Well, you can't um, yet. <laughs> wait, um, Mary, I know that they've authorized uh, Zoom uh, meetings, but is the reverse true that we can't have in-person meetings? I am got word that they're, they're doing in-person meetings anyway yet. For what it's worth, I tried to go to town hall and they're still locked up. They're still locked up, but I, by then I would think um, either town hall will be open or, or um, the COA. Um, the library has begun uh, being open. Mm -hmm. right. I don't know whether they allow meetings in their meeting room or not. Not, not. No, they're not. Okay. Um, okay. Mary, we'll uh, have. Jen, your point is well taken. I, um, I think we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah. If, okay. if the state and the town open up, we'll consider having it in person because then we can look at the materials and have someone present. It's it's a, a little more effective. Um, does anyone feel strongly one way or the other about it? Can we wait? Yeah, we don't have to decide about if it's virtual or live yet. No, right. So we'll we'll wait and see whether we can. If we can, we'll try to accommodate that, Jan. Okay. If we can, then yeah. then it will be then it will be sure. right. Okay. I have, I have a question as a sure, new member. Right. Go ahead. Uh, will we get copies of these applications before the meeting to Absolutely. Uh, okay. I will send them electronically on Monday. But some people like the hard copies, and if, if you would like that, you know, they mark them up or do whatever. Uh, I'll arrange to um, leave them at town hall, or um, I've done deliveries, <laughs> special deliveries. Yeah, if town hall's not open, Mary, we can't. Oh, good point. Well, and the, the, point. the drop box, I, I tried it once, but uh, I clogged the whole box, so. Um, <laughs> So if, if you would like a hard copy of, of whatever we get, um, just tell me and we can make arrangements. But I'll send everything out electronically on Monday. Um, and Mary, our application will be due on that date and they they have to submit a hard copy, I think. Yes, they, they'll right. still be held so to the hard copy, to, yes. Right, yeah. and it would still be to the um, town hall Right, and, and they they're dropping it, it off. Drop. They simply put it in the box. The drop box. Right. Okay. Good point. Thank okay. you, Jim. Yeah. Okay. So, any other uh, business or any other comments that people have uh, today? It's a lovely day, so I won't keep you. Thank you, Gary. Thank, yeah. thank you all for for. Uh, signing in today, we really appreciate it. Uh, let's see what we get and do spread the word out to your committees to, to ask them, you know, what can we do? Uh, and that's time sensitive that would make an impact on the community. Okay. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So, so moved. Thanks. Second. Thank you very much. I don't think we actually vote on it, but uh, <laughs> we can if you like. Uh, all those in favor of adjournment? Aye. 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 Very good. Thank you very much, Mary, and everyone have a lovely few weeks. Thank okay. you. Okay. Bye. Thanks, Mary. Bye. Bye.